So hi, Micropunter here again. Today a question about connecting a camera, a DSLR camera to a microscope, uh, but this time uh, with the question concerning a focusable trinocular head. So that's uh, one uh, photo tube up here which you can focus. Um, is this something that's important or not? So I'll um, give you the question here. I've noticed that some of the microscopes have a trinocular tube that has the ability to focus. On the one I'm interested in, purchasing it does not have this ability. I'm mainly interested in uh, photos and vi videos and photos. Uh, with, will the stationary trinocular port, the stationary one being the one that cannot be focused, will the stationary trinocular port still work with the DSLR or would it require additional parts? Thanks uh, for all the advice and uh, content. Short answer is yes and yes. Yes, it will work and yes, you will need extra parts to make it very briefly. Um, you need to have some kind of an adapter that, uh, to connect the photo tube to a DSLR. And uh, th this adapter here um, should already be designed uh, in a way that when the image is in focus through the eyepieces, it should also be more or less in focus on the camera. Um, I say more or less because uh, this here, for example, is not absolutely in focus. I have to refocus a little bit, but the amount that you have to refocus is really not very much. You have to check um, on the camera display whether the image is in focus. Now, if you have a focusable um, trinocular head, you can uh, correct for this small deviation, but there is or there might be, I have not tested this, but there might be a small disadvantage. If there are intermediate optics, in the focusing system, then under, you have to understand that every um, lens elements that are in the light path, none of them will actually improve the image quality. That is the thing, rather the image quality will go down a little bit. Um, so that is simply something that has to be considered whether this effect uh, is significant or not is a different question. But uh, generally one should try to reduce the number of um, lens elements in the light path. Now. Why is there then in this adapter here, why is there an, an, an optics in here? Can we not do without it? The thing is, is these um, optics are important um, because otherwise, um, uh, theoretically, you could mount a camera without the optics, but without it, um, the focus um, of the camera and the eyepieces are so far apart that you have to significantly refocus um, and to such an extent that you actually might risk uh, crashing the objectives into the slide. So um, I would uh, basically say the following, it is possible to um, also have adapters without the optics for DSLR, but I recommend those with an optics. I think this one here costs 50 to 60 uh, euros or dollars and I directly imported it from China. I actually made a separate video where I had a review on, on, of this. Um, now, if you buy these, then uh, you can... Oh. Now I dropped it. Um, now if you buy these, uh, then uh, you can uh, basically uh, get something like this and you have to get an appropriate T2 adapter ring um, and that basically connects then uh, to your camera, okay? Um, so um, that's number one. Um, number two, the system that I have here, for example, that is a, a system um, directly from the manufacturer Olympus and this one also contains an intermediate optics, it's called a projection eyepiece, but this one is designed in such a way that when it is in focus in through the eye piece it's absolutely in focus also on the camera however I still use the camera to focus um, the reason being is because uh, you don't see the full field of view and I want to do all of the composition and everything on, on this uh, on the display of the camera so this means I personally uh, would say that if you're interested already in a, a certain microscope and it does not have the ability to focus then this uh, the, 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 the photo tube then this would not be a criterion for me to reject that microscope as a matter of fact most microscopes um, have non-focusable um, uh, photo tubes. Um, the issue is a little bit uh, different again with stereo microscopes and, and sometimes in stereo microscopes um, what uh, the system is is that sometimes you can raise and lower uh, the, um, the, the photo tube a little bit or the, the top part of the photo tube to get it into focus and what I found out with this adapter for example is, is it's as I mentioned it's slightly out of focus but if I raise it out a few millimeters then it's also in focus so what I might actually think of doing is, is uh, uh, attaching a rubber band here to lift it out a few millimeters. 
that, that would then then it's always in focus. I'm not gonna do that because when I focus, um, I use the display anyway, and uh, um, it's so close. I just have to adjust a little bit with a fine focus. So that is basically the short answer. Um, if you're interested in the microscope, uh, that uh, I would not place too much of, of an emphasis on a focusable um, uh, photo tube, um, but you still need to find a solution to connect uh, your DSLR um, to the microscope. That's it. Wish you all the best. Happy micro hunting as always. Please leave your comments. See you around. Bye bye.